want to play a game? This game's a little bit like hide and seek, but with a twist. During Melbourne's lockdown in 2020, we were with my family, and we like to keep things interesting and fun by having things like Sunday theme nights, arts and crafts sessions, movie nights, you name it, we did it. I also like to play a little prank on my family where I would hide small horse figurines around the house in strange places and then just wait to see how long it would take for them to find them. It drove my mum crazy. To the point where, as a hilarious Christmas present, I wrapped one up and sent one in the mail long after we'd moved out. The inspiration for this game also comes from a new piece of theatre we're creating which features a ghost haunting a house. And by the time you finish playing this game, your house is probably going to be filled with little ghosts as well. All you're going to need is a piece of white paper, a pencil, a black marker and some scissors. Or alternatively, if you sign up for our Patreon, you can download and print a copy of my Ready to Haunt Ghost Sheet, along with a bunch of other cool downloadable activities. Drawing your own ghosts though? Here's what you're going to do. Take your piece of paper and your pencil. You're going to be filling the page with very traditional looking bedsheet ghosts that are all about 10 to 15 centimetres long. Then trace over your pencil lines with a black marker so they stand out. Try to get a few different poses and faces so that each ghost is unique and leave a bit of room between each one so you can cut them out. Once you've cut them out, it's time to play Haunted House. And there's a few ways you can play. If you've got a friend or family member with you, take turns hiding the ghosts and then see how long it takes for them to find all the ghosts you've hidden. Then swap. Just make sure they know how many ghosts they're looking for first. Or if you're in it for the long haul, hide those ghosts you've made in some very tricky hiding places, like under stacks of plates in the kitchen, in between pages of a book, or maybe inside pairs of shoes. And then wait and see how long it takes for your family or friends to discover them. What other versions of this game can you think of? Where do you think one of the best places to hide one of these ghosts would be in your house? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe for more playful and imaginative game ideas and hit the like button if you enjoyed this one. And become a member of our Patreon to get access to the downloadable ghost templates along with a whole bunch of other crafty activities and behind the scenes news on what we're doing here at Brimal Productions. Until next time, stay creative. Psst. Why didn't the ghost go to the dance? Because it had no body to go with.